What castor oil is really effective for is your liver. So I want to do just a really brief explanation of your liver. Most people don't even realize how important the liver is or where the liver even is. So the liver is located kind of on the right, it goes kind of through the, starting on the right side into the center um, of the chest cavity. And it's kind of behind the gallbladder and it's behind some of the intestines and it's in the upper part of the body. Okay, so that's where it's located. And it's a big organ, it's a, a large organ and it does a lot of things. And so if you're ever having pain in your abdomen or the right side, it's probably due to your liver being congested. And when your liver is overwhelmed, you're gonna feel sluggish, you're gonna feel nauseated, tired and very heavy, okay? Everything is slow. When you have a very sluggish liver, everything is slow. Your digestion is slow. Your metabolism is slow. Everything is slowing down. Our liver does over 500 things, has 500 vital functions. And when your liver is overwhelmed or sluggish, a lot of things start to happen. And, and, and it's not good. Like your liver is responsible for so many things. And so here's some fun facts about the liver what's the only liver that can rege regenerate itself? You've ever heard of um, people that have had parts of their liver removed surgically? The liver can actually regrow. It's the only organ that can regrow and can regenerate. So the liver is very resilient. It's a very tough organ. It takes a beating, but if we don't take care of it, it can slowly decline and you, you will not, okay? It has over 500 function. It regulates hormone levels, it detoxifies the blood, it makes bile, it makes cholesterol and triglycerides, it makes glycogen, it makes blood clotting factors, it stores vitamins. Um, alcohol and Tylenol are very hard on your liver. I never recommend Tylenol, taking Tylenol is one of the most toxic things you can put in your body for your liver. Alcohol is also. Alcohol and Tylenol and the, those co that combination is, like almost fatal for the um, liver. In fact, 25% of all ER visits are alcohol and Tylenol related. So Tylenol overdose is the leading cause of acute liver failure. Do you guys know that? I know, isn't that crazy? So again, your liver is a, an organ that takes a beating, but we have to take care of it. But if you're not feeling good, if you're feeling yucky, and if you have a lot of these symptoms, like you can't sleep, you can't poop, you're stressed out, you're tired all the time, you feel like your hormones are off, your hair is falling out, you have pain in your right side, and especially stabbing pains after you eat, it's worse in the back, um, nausea, stinky armpits. You know, if you have really stinky like underarms, it's a sign your body's not detoxing very well, right? Um, if you've been diagnosed with a fatty liver, you for sure have, a, um, you know, your liver is not functioning like it should. If you've ever had your gallbladder removed or you've been diagnosed with a uh, sluggish gallbladder, your, your liver is, is sluggish. That's not good. Um, if you have pain in the center of the chest, especially after meals, if you find yourself sighing a lot, you know, like just taking deep breaths, if you have blotchy skin, if you have floaters in your eyes, um, and if you have like pains in your back that are worse after you, after you eat. That is an indication that your, um, your liver is, you know, on, is declining or it's sluggish. Okay. The other thing you want to pay attention to is if you've been diagnosed with a fatty liver, you for sure, um, you know, have, have liver dysfunction. Okay. So a fatty liver is basically called a carby liver. So when I, when I say carby, what I'm talking about is a liver that has been um, damaged by eating too many carbs, especially like high, high sugar carbs. Because what happens is, is when you eat a lot of sugar, your, your liver converts them to triglycerides and then it gets stored in the liver, okay? So too much fat accumulates in the liver. And that particular fat in the liver is 100% from carbs converting into fat. Okay. So when you have a fatty liver, you can't detox and it can't perform its vital functions. So what can you do about it? Well, of course, you know, you can do the things I teach in this class, right? In, in this group, I teach a lot about, you know, how to eat, how to, how to heal your fatty liver, quit eating sugar, exercise, increase methathione, add vitamin D, add omegas, low carb, intermittent fasting. However, you can also 
add castor oil packs. But here's what I want to say, you guys. If you think, if you've been diagnosed with fatty liver or you have any of these symptoms and you think that just doing castor oil packs is going to be your relief, it, it, I mean, castor oil packs are amazing and you'll see why here in a little bit. But if you, if that's the only thing you're going to try to attempt to do and not change your diet, not change your lifestyle, not do anything else, don't even consider doing this. This treatment, this castor oil pack is an amazing addition to cleaning up your lifestyle. Like these two go hand in hand, like your liver function will, will just skyrocket if you use castor oil packs on top of cleaning up your nutrition and, and healing your body that way. Okay. So I just wanted to make that clear. Um, so what is castor oil packs? Well, a castor oil pack is basically um, a treatment that helps your liver. And this legendary treatment dates back to ancient times. It's traditional Chinese medicine, and it's Ayurvedic medicine. And the Mediterranean is used it all the time back in the old, back in the olden days, right? It's even actually was mentioned in the Bible as an oil that anoints. The plant was given a special name as the palm of Christ. And so oil packs have been around forever and ever and ever and ever, and it's a part of natural medicine. So some of the things that castor oil packs do is they help you to feel relaxed, feel good and feel pleasure. It's kind of like after you feel after you've had this amazing meal. Castor oil packs are meant to relax the body by applying the pack on your body, most commonly on the liver area underneath the right rib cage, you stimulate the sensory receptors in the human skin. This sends a message via the somatic visceral re reflexes. I know I'm saying a lot of big words here, but it's a fancy term for the sensory receptors on the skin. And that then stimulates to the organs inside the body. The corresponding organs are affected by the liver with these castor oil packs. And that would be the liver, pancreas, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, kidney, and adrenals. Because the stimuli is so soft to the touch and pleasurable, it moves into your body and it, it causes a relaxed state, okay? So studies show that when you stimulate the skin and you light it up uh, that way, um, it, it's very pleasurable and it creates this dopamine and that is a very good sensory feeling, okay? So again, you wanna feel relaxed anytime you do this type of treatment. The other thing it does is it reduces inflammation and pain, okay? So where there is inflammation in the body, there is sickness, there is toxicity, and there's overall distress in the body. So let's face it, as humans, we run, into, we, we run from pain and we always wanna to run towards pleasure. So if you do a castor oil pack, it's actually going to help you reduce that pain and it's going to decrease your inflammation and it's going to give you a sensory of, 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 of real like peace and a sense of calm when you do a castor oil pack. So there's a chemical structure in castor oil called ricinolic acid. And this is the main component of this magical castor oil. And what it does is it's kind of like, it's, it's like a fish oil supplement because when you take this fish oil or, or this oil and you can, if you consume a fish oil internally, it decreases inflammation. Well, castor oil has this renolic acid uh, that actually provides prostaglandins that reduce inflammation on the outside of your body because it enters from, enters into your body through your skin. So just like we take vitamin E or omegas internally to help with inflammation, castor oil does the act, act, exact opposite. We don't take it orally, but we use it on our bodies and it, it absorbs through the skin to reduce inflammation. So it's a really, really powerful way to reduce inflammation, okay? It's also a master cleaning agent, okay? So um, it, it, it helps produce a hormone called, not hormone, it's, it's an agent called glutathione. And glutathione is an incredible molecule that pulls and helps with the elimination of most, and if not all toxic substances from the body, including things like lead and heavy metals. Now, glutathione, like I said, is a molecule 
and your body doesn't really has a hard time making it on its own. And as we age, we don't produce a lot of it. And this, and if we're super inflamed and have a lot of inflammation, we, our bodies don't make it. So this is what the castor oil packs do. Um, glutathione is worth its weight in gold and it's priceless for the, for, to have as for your healthy body. And the problem is, is most of us don't have enough of it. Okay. We've used up our storage glutathione and we're, cause we're bombarded with chemicals and pesticides, which lower glutathione. So glutathione is also very difficult for the body to recycle naturally. So we want to be able to allow our body to be able to create it and castor oil packs help our body to create it. It's really hard to get it from our food and it's hard to get it even from supplementation. So you've heard people do it intravenously. That's one method, but you know, castor oil packs are a, an amazing method to uh, increase your glutathione, okay? The other thing it does is helps with constipation. Why? Because it stimulates the smooth muscle contraction via the prostaglandin, which is receptors in the body. And this smooth muscle is what the intestines and guts are composed of. Okay. So when you work with castor oil packs, it stimulates these muscles and, and it helps move the, you know, the feces through the colon. So keeping your bowels moving and, and keeping your, you, yourself regular will keep you much happier and help you feel better because when you are constipated, you are reabsorbing all of those toxins back into your bloodstream. So it's so important that you guys go to the bathroom. You know, I have sometimes I have um, clients that will work with me and they'll, that's one of the first questions I ask them. I said, how, how are you, are you going regularly? And I have a lot of them, they'll say, oh, I go once a week or maybe once every three days. That's terrible, you guys. You should be going a minimum of once a day, if not twice. And if you're not, you're constipated. Whether you say you're not or not, you're constipated. If you're not going once every other day, at least, or once a day, you're constipated, especially if you're eating. If you're eating every day and you're not going every day, you're constipated. And here's the deal. If you're not, if you have slow sluggish digestion and your body is not pushing that through, you're just reabsorbing all of those toxins back into the bloodstream. You've got to eliminate. So castor oil packs is one way to help do that. And it works really, really, really well. Okay. Um, the other thing is it helps promote a happy gut. And um, when your, your biome, it's called your microbiome, is balanced, okay, you are going to be able to have better digestion, okay? So having a healthy microbiome has massive implications for your overall health. And the benefits of having a happy digestion or happy gut are balanced mood, good bowel movements, reduced abdominal pain, um, reduced bloating and gas, reduced physical inflammation, and improvement of autoimmune and hormonal issues, okay? If you're constipated and you don't have good gut flora, your hormones are gonna be off, okay? And it's very common that women, especially when their hormones are off, they are constipated. It all relates together. So when you have castor oil packs, you put these castor oil packs on you, there's very few natural, I mean, castor oil is one of the very few natural substances that can break down the barrier of these bad um, micro, um, they're called biofilms that surround bacteria that make it really hard for your body to break down food and, 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 and you get too many of those in your body and you get constipated, okay? So the castor oil has the ability, once it enters into the blood and enters into your body, to really um, break down these biofilms, which, 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 um, help to eliminate these, these toxins, because these toxins are smart. When toxins are in the body, they create these films around it so that your body can eliminate them because they want to stay in the body. So castor oil really is good at breaking through those biofilms so you can detox and, and release that. Okay. So, and by the way, this is just a side note. Do any of you guys wake up between one and three in the morning? Like if you're going to sleep and you just find yourself waking up between one and three, did you know that between one and 3 a.m. 
in the morning, that's connected directly to your liver because between one and three, that's the sacred hour for the liver. That's when the liver is working its hardest to heal and to detox and to purge. So if you're getting up, it means that your liver is, 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 is not able to do its job. So that's a really good key there, okay? So some of the other signs of an unhealthy liver, we went through a bunch at the beginning of class, but some of the other ones are, you know, fatigue, you feel off, pain in the upper right hand, side of your um, abdomen and underneath your rib cage. If you have flu-like sy symptoms, allergies, congestion, if you've been diagnosed with estrogen dominance or you think you have estrogen dominance, and most women over 40 really do have estrogen dominance. And that a lot of times, if you have estrogen dominance, it's because your liver is not detoxifying properly. Okay. Um, if you have, you know, jaundice, that's another sign of an unhealthy liver. So castor oil packs are amazing. Now, listen, not all castor oil is the same. Okay. So I'm going to show you now kind of like why castor oil and the a specific brand is, is, is important. So first of all, castor oil needs to be in a glass bottle because lipotoxicity is imperative to use. And when it's in a glass bottle, you are, you are not absorbing those toxins that are in plastic because again, castor oil will absorb anything porous. Okay. Cause it, it again, it, it penetrates very deep into the, into the skin and anything it's put in, it will actually absorb. So castor oil is a master carrier oil and due to its structure and the molecular weight of this, um, ricinolic acid, it is really good at transporting and trans Transferring substance in the body. So it's important that you buy a high quality, organic, extra virgin, cold pressed, hexane free castor oil in a glass. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to share with you the kind I get and all that, but you want to make sure it's in a glass. Okay. If I ever see clients that come to me and say, Oh, I have some castor oil and they show me it's in a plastic bottle. I'll say, uh, uh, Get rid of it now, immediately, immediately, okay? So the science behind castor oil is that it's really good for lymphatic drainage and for cleansing because when you place the compressed pack over the liver, okay, what it does is it's going to help, again, you're going to absorb the lysanic, the, the, um, the racinolic acid, which is going to then create a sense of calm. It's going to encourage lymphatic drainage. It's going to activate the visceral reflexes. It's going to, it's going to help with detoxing. It's going to cleanse your organs like the liver, kidney, the gut, and the gallbladder. It's going to help create better gut microflora. Okay. So there's just so many things that it's good for. It helps stimulate the body skin receptor, which stimulates natural oxytocin. Like I told you at the beginning, when you get a dopamine hit. It's kind of similar to that. So when you do these castor oil packs, um, just they feel really good and they help you stay calm and they give you a sense of peace. It's really crazy. So when you decide to do a castor oil pack, now here's what I want to share. When I first learned about castor oil packs, it was when I had cancer and I really thought it was hokey. I'm like, of course, you know, I didn't do a lot of research when I was told I should do them. I just started doing them, but then I started doing the research and then I started doing them. And I was like, okay, now I see why they're so good. Right. But when I first learned about them, I thought they were hokey. And then when I first did them, they were, they were, me they're messy. If you do it the way I learned how to do them, they are a mess. This oil is very thick. It's very sticky. And when you, you have to put it on a absorbable cloth and it seeps through the cloth so that it gets sticky. So when I did them back, you know, a few years ago, I went out and bought a very organic sheep skin thing, put the castor oil on it, placed it on, you know, my liver, and then had a plastic bag that I put over it and I would lay in my bed and just relax. Right. For like an hour. And I'm like, uh, it felt really good, but it was a mess. And I was like, really, there's gotta be a better way. I mean, there's gotta be a better way to do this, but I did that. I did that for months until I learned about queen of 
the thrones and i want to show you what queen of the thrones she is brilliant she developed an actual pack that you can use overnight it's amazing okay so this is the 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 castor oil pack and as you can see it has these little um these little you know it's like a little straps so what you do is you take it comes with the organic right organic castor oil um you put two tablespoons initially in the center of this of the of the pack and on this side there's like a plastic coating right by this is all organic of course because again remember everything you put on here is going to absorb into your skin right so this is why i love her product because everything's very organic and very safe by the way i'm not affiliated with with this person or this company so it's i'm just giving her a free plug but anyway so what you do is you put two tablespoons on here and you let it sit there and then you put it right on your liver and then you tie these right you tie these behind you and then you go to bed and you sleep with it overnight how amazing is that it's so much easier than what i used to do when i was like you know because i couldn't without the way i was doing it i couldn't sleep with it because it, there was nothing to keep it in place and i was putting a plastic bag over it and it would slip off and it was a mess but she created a system and it's amazing and it's not that expensive so the recommendation is um you know you do this three to five times a week um what i did is i did it for a month straight to kind of like really detox my liver and then when i anytime i do my liver rejuvenation protocol I'll do that every night too during that time. But now I do it maybe three times a, a week, um, or I just put this on and I I sleep with it, and it it it's really it does make a difference. Now, um, you know, you guys can make your own decision on, on whether or not you feel like it would be as, uh, beneficial for you guys to do it. It's I just wanted to give you guys the information. Again, it's the Queen of Thrones. Queen of the Thrones is the name of the website. And again, it's not that expensive. And ideally, you want to do it for a minimum of one hour. But with her product, because it's so amazing and compact, and she's created these, you know, this actual pack that you can wear overnight, I just sleep with it overnight. It's way easier. And what's really cool is it's not messy because when you sleep with it overnight, all the castor oil is absorbed. And so when you wake up in the morning, it's like it's not it's not there anymore. It's not sticky because it's, it's absorbed overnight. It's amazing. The other thing I love about castor oil, you guys ask me all the time, why, you know, how come you don't have very many wrinkles? I mean, I do, but I, but I put castor oil underneath my eyes and around here. Yeah, I just do. I put that. Just say I'm giving you all my beauty secrets. <laughs> but again, you want to make sure that if you're using castor oil, that it's organic and that it's in a glass bottle. And I just, you know, I just like her product. I like this one a lot. So, um, yeah. So um, that's why I like castor oil packs. Um, that's why I think they're important to use or add to your health protocol. If you feel like you are having detox issues or you're you feel like um you're having some pain in your liver area or you've been diagnosed with a fatty liver or if you have diabetes a castor oil pack might be a really good option for you to add to your protocol and again just remember check with your doctor um, and also don't go and buy a castor oil product if you don't plan to start doing some of the other things that i teach in this group because it's never just one thing you're you you can not do a castor oil pack thinking that's going to reverse your fatty liver or, or going to totally get rid of your constipation you've got to do a multitude of things although amazing and you will i think you will definitely see some um results when you have a system in place and you do more than just you know when you do some of the other things i teach also okay but again remember that if you do check with your doctor he's not going to know what a castor oil pack is um, you know, castor oil packs are really safe. I mean, there's, 
there's really nothing that's going to hurt you by doing a castor oil pack. Okay. It's not like it's going to hurt you. Really, it's not. The only thing I will say is that you will be detox. You will, de you will be detoxing. So you do want to make sure that you're drinking more water. If you do the castor oil packs and that you do clean up your nutrition because you probably will be going more and, and detoxing. So you might as well, you know, start to clean up your diet. Um, but just remember that if you ask your doctor about it, he's probably going to tell you that it's a hope that it's hokey and he, and whatever you guys make your own decision about that. You've heard the data, you've heard, you know, what I've had to say about it. You can also go to the queen of the thrones website and she has a ton of information, articles and videos that you can read. Um, remember your MDs aren't health experts, they're drug experts. So, you know, because castor oil isn't a drug and it's not patented, of course, they're not going to ever agree with it and they're not going to know about it. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so yay. I think that's, that's it. I hope this was helpful.